Well, hello everyone. I thought that I would come back and um, work on this just a little more on camera. It's Donna. I didn't say that, but I'm pretty sure you knew when you clicked on my channel. <laughs> but welcome. Thank you for being here. If you're new to the channel, I hope you will consider subscribing. Um, we would love to have you. So I'm going to see if um, my SD card will allow me to record for more than 15 minutes onto it. Um, I've tried to figure out what the problem is and I can't. I mean, I, I don't know what to do. I would much rather, um, I think I would almost rather constantly dump my files over onto my computer than to have to keep dealing with restarting the video every 12 to 15 minutes. I mean, I'm, I don't, I don't know what else to do right now, but we're going to see what happens, what comes about. Um, and yeah, we'll just see. I don't feel so bad about losing footage, um, and things like that. I was starting to get very stressed out and I watched, um, Mama Fruit Bats, Anne's Over to Colorful Life's last um, video for Jade Summer, and the same thing happened to her. So, you know, yeah, if it can happen to Mama Fruit Bat, it can happen to anybody. She is so squared away over there. Um, I did try to work on figuring out an intro, and I did successfully make an intro, which at least was kind of cool. But then when I put it all into my editor software, you know how when you take a you know, if someone films in portrait mode, it has those black sides on it and you can't see. Well, this didn't look like it was in portrait mode, but what it did was it was still in landscape mode, but it had those black lines on the top and the bottom of the video. And I don't understand why. So if anyone happens to have any experience with doing intros, especially if I could do them on my Android phone somehow, um, please let me know. And, you know, if someone is maybe willing to do a tutorial <coughs> and, um, about that, it would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> I really enjoyed Anne's videos about starting a um, YouTube channel, I found that they were very informative, and um, if any of you have thought about that, I mean, I hope that they, the videos were an encouragement. It's a lot of headache um, sometimes worrying about, am I filming in the right mode, you know, and as you see, us losing footage <laughs> and things like that, but it's also a lot of fun, and um, it's a good time. So I know I, I feel so much better emotionally, mentally, physically since I began my channel um, before I would spend most of the day just sitting in my chair and coloring and watching ColorTube, but I really wasn't interacting with anyone. And even though I'm doing, you know, these coloring chats and I'm talking to um, you not in real time, um, many of you will leave me comments and I will be able to um, converse with you that way. And some of you have sent me emails and they have been greatly appreciated. I've gotten the opportunity to get to know um, some of you and that friendship and sense of community is absolutely, um, it's priceless to me. So, yeah, I I love my channel. I love all of you. So, if I ever say, you know, I love you or love ya or anything like that, and, you know, a comment or anything, I'm not just, you know, speaking mindless words. I really mean that. You guys have touched me um, 
so much and it's just it's been a wonderful experience so yeah so Gary got to his hunting property okay and um, so that's good um, they're set up he actually has cell phone signal at the campground um, he said he believes it's even better than the signal we get here inside the house, which is awesome because sometimes, you know, we have, um, issues here and there, uh, inside the house. We're not really sure why that is, but it is. Uh, so that's nice. He said he's in 4G. He has almost full bars. Um, so that's awesome. So when he's in camp, I should be able to to um be in touch with him so you know if anything were to happen i can i can shoot him a text and he'll get it when they come in to eat and things like that so that's amazing so i'm having a bit of a tiff right now with amazon oh goodness um i had had a pretty serious um, shipping mishap that occurred back in November and I had contacted Amazon to try to um, resolve it and what they had offered was a free month of Prime because I do pay monthly so they had offered to waive my December um, Prime payment and I was not going to be billed until January well, I told you guys in part one of this video that I did pay my bills today, and I noticed that I was charged for December. So, I emailed customer service, and apparently whoever read my email totally um, misunderstood what I said. For some reason, I think they thought I was complaining because I had attempted maybe to cancel my Prime membership. And so I get an email back saying, oh, so sorry, we've canceled your membership. Yeah. And, you know, we've refunded the part that you should have not been charged. Have a nice day. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I immediately go to my Amazon account. Luckily, it didn't immediately cancel. It's just set to cancel in February. At least that's what I'm seeing on my end. So I immediately email them back and I'm like, okay, we have a problem. You know, Houston, we have a problem. My complaint was never that I was being billed for Prime. My complaint was I was told you were going to waive December and you did not. And now you've canceled my Prime account. And here's the thing. When I was in the account, I tried and tried and tried to go in to, you know, like reactivate the account, I can find nowhere to keep the account open past February 5th, I believe it was, is what it was saying. I cannot find how to do that. I can't like update payment options, choose automatic payment, nothing. It's not there. So I tell Amazon this and what do I receive? An email saying, so, so sorry. Um, we're forwarding your email to people who can handle um, the person who misunderstood your email. And please just go into your Amazon account and reactivate your membership. I'm sorry, I wouldn't be sending you this email right now if it were that simple. So I went back to my Amazon account just to make sure I wasn't um, missing something. And... No, I cannot find where to reactivate that to extend the membership. So I email them once again and say, Houston, we have a problem. I did not ask for my account to get canceled. I am trying to go in and reactivate this account. There is nowhere that I can find that will allow me to reactivate my account. I have not heard back from them yet. My question that I propose to them is, can you not 
do that on your end. Um, it's like, and if you can, please make that happen. Um, I, I, I don't know how, I don't know how the first person misinterpreted my email. It was very detailed. Um, so now it's a big mess. And the reason that's a big deal is because I have the Chase Amazon Prime credit card. And if my Prime lapses, they will cancel my Prime card immediately and reissue the basic Amazon um, the basic Amazon Chase card, which gives you like 3% cash back instead of 5 But all of my bills, I have automatically debit off that card, That the ones that I can. You know, car insurance, all kinds of things. Um, automatically debit from that card. That way I get that 5 uh, well, I don't get the 5% for that. It's less for that, but it's 5% on Amazon. But, um... You know, I have all these things to automatically debit to get, you know, those benefits. And if they cancel that card and try to reissue another card, it's just it's just going to be a mess. So I'm very irritated. I'm waiting to hear back from customer service again and see what can be done. But I assure you at this point, that extra $12.99 that I was charged was not worth all this craziness that I've went through today. Um, yeah, it's just crazy. You know, at this point, I'm about ready to email them and go, yeah, you're going to reactivate the Prime, and you're going to give me like three months free. Have a nice day drive through. But I'm trying to be calm about this. You know, so far, Amazon has always been really good to me, customer service-wise. So I'm really trying to just give them the benefit of the doubt and just roll with this, but it just caused a lot of heartache. Um, it's got my anxiety levels up today, or this afternoon and evening. It's, it's definitely got my anxiety up, so I don't know. We shall see. I have been debating what type of a sleep pattern I'm going to have over the next um, several days while uh, Gary is hunting. You know, he won't be back until Wednesday evening, so that's three nights that I'll be here. And I thought, you know, I can stay up until, because I don't get, it's crazy, I don't get really sleepy on the nights that he's not here, it's very, very hard for me to relax and try to go to sleep. So I kind of thought I could, you know, just stay up. But the last time I tried to stay up, when I did finally lay down, I couldn't sleep. <laughs> it was crazy. So, you know, part of me wants to say, oh, I'm going to act like a teenager again and stay up all night, you know, in color and have a good old time. And then there's the responsible part of me that says, girlfriend, that's probably not a very good idea, and you know it. So we'll see. Generally, when um, Gary's home, we're in bed by 10 at the latest. Generally, we're headed for bed by uh, 9 um, he has to get up at 5 a.m. It's hard for him to fall asleep a lot of times. He wakes up several times during the night, so he wants to make sure that he's well rested because, you know, the type of job that he works, there's no guarantee he's going to get to sleep during that 24 hours that he's at the station. So we do try to turn in pretty early um, on the nights that he works. I generally find it uh, really difficult to get sleepy. And it's generally, um, it's generally around 11, somewhere between 11 and 1 when I actually uh, go to bed when he is uh, working. So, I'm probably going to be up pretty late the next few nights anyway. 
We will see how that goes. I keep telling myself all these things I could get accomplished if I just stayed up late and did it, but the truth is I probably won't do a very good job because I'll start to get fatigued and then I won't sleep well and then I'll want to sleep all day tomorrow because I'll be exhausted. So yeah, that's I probably just need to try to go on and get some sleep like I normally would. So, I know the right thing to do. That is a sign of maturity, right? Knowing the right thing to do, or is that actually doing the right thing is the sign of maturity? We'll see. Um, I pulled out my new... Um, Garden of Joy 2 coloring book and I started working on the picture with the deers. I just, I cannot get over how stinking cute that coloring book is. If you guys did not see my flip through of that coloring book, go back and look at it if you have not seen that book. Oh my goodness. It is like complete cuteness overload. I absolutely adore it. There is not a single image that I don't think is just absolutely precious. And generally, there's at least a few pictures in every coloring book that I don't too much um, care for. They don't call to me, you know, whatever. But I did not. Every one of these were just absolutely adorable. So I did the deer in my alcohol markers. And I've been using my Color It gel pens, the glitters. Um, on the flowers, and I don't know that I've ever, I was thinking about this when I was coloring it, I don't know that I have ever colored, like, the main portion or a main part or whatever of a picture in, like, alcohol markers, and then did all the accent parts, you know what I mean, like the flowers and all that kind of stuff around the main image in gel pens. So that might be kind of a first for me. Maybe. I'm not sure, but I can't recall another time that I've done that. Um, I think it's turning out real cute. Part of me for a little while was like, eh, maybe I should have done this all in marker. But, you know, I'm really wanting to branch out, try new things, and just, you know, enjoy myself and have a good time. So that's what I was doing. I did finish my Secret Garden uh, double page spread. That excited me. Um, so that was completed. So that was exciting. Um, I'm happy with the way it turned out. I was using some of my glitter paint marker to do a few little accents right at the very end. And the phone rang and it was sitting like right beside me and it was my mom that was calling. But when it rang, I was just putting the tip of the marker to the paper and it made me jump when the phone rang. Has that ever happened where, you know, the phone or whatever was super close to you and it rang and it just scared the bejesus out of you? My ringtone is like, I think if you look up old-fashioned ring, or old-fashioned telephone, that's my ringtone because it is the loudest one I could find and, it, you know, it commands my attention when my phone is ringing. So, needless to say, I smeared that glitter paint marker pen a little bit on the page and I was pretty upset, but I had to remind myself, you know, like I've told you guys, it is a coloring page gets over it there is many many more but you know I kid you not that was like I may have had I think maybe three or four more to do and the page would have been done when the phone rang so I was that close to the end and I mean I was just putting like little dots on with this paint pen so I was three or four dots from done when this happened 
So yeah, it was pretty, it was a little disheartening, but I will survive. I will live to color another day. I saw that there's several new videos out from the um, channels that I subscribe to. So when this color and chat is over, I will be curling up with ColorTube to catch up on some videos that I've missed. Um, I'm looking forward to that. I don't like getting too far behind because it's so hard to catch up. You know, um, some of the people that I subscribe to, you know, I love long videos, but if you've got a video that's an hour and a half, two hours long from each one of these and you get four, you know, three or four videos behind, that is an awful lot of color tube to try to catch up, you know, to try to catch up on. And I think that's why I don't subscribe to a whole, whole lot of channels because there's no way I would ever keep up with them. But when I do find a channel that I do like the content, I, I do subscribe and then they just get put in there and I find a way. And um, so I love color tube. I watch more color tube than I watch regular TV, you know, hands down, bar none. Gary is the one that watches a lot of television, but most of the television he watches is like recorded TV. He records his favorite programs or things that will interest him. And then we sit and watch the DVR together. Uh, generally, if the TV's on. It's something of his that we're watching. I record a few things. Um, I record the Big Bang Theory, and I just realized that this is the final season. Oh my. I have been watching this for so long. Um, Brooke used to watch that also. She loved it. It's just going to be so sad to lose um, the Big Bang Theory. I loved it, but I understand that they've pretty well played out the storyline. Um, Leonard and Penny are married. You know, everybody's gotten married. And it looks like Stuart is about to make that type of a long-term commitment also, whether they just um, move in together or whether they get married. But it looks like it's going in that direction. And, I mean, that's, I guess the storyline's kind of played out, and I guess it's time, and that's just sad, because I really, really have enjoyed that series. Um, I record The Young Sheldon. It's hilarious. It's, you know, based off of the idea of Sheldon Cooper from The Big Bang Theory's Life as a Child, and I love it. It's so funny. Um, I watch that every week. Um, The Good Doctor, I record that, and I keep up with that one. I really, really, um, love that because, you know, the doctor has autism and it shows that people who have you know, autism, they are capable, they're very capable, very intelligent, it's, they're socially behind, they are not in, you know, intellectually, for the, they're, they're fine, I mean, they're very, 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 very smart, and, you know, Brooke had a form of autism known as Asperger's, um, so, that show I like a lot, um, I record Mom. I like that one. Um, it's so funny. And I really enjoy it. 
And I think that's it really for me. Um, I don't, like I said, I really don't watch a lot of TV. Um, I watch a lot of color tube. Uh, Gary, on the other hand, he does all kinds of things. He records a lot off of the Smithsonian Channel. They have this show on there that's about Aerial America, I think is the name of it. And it takes like certain states um, or different things. Like I've, there was one on the Mississippi River. So, I, you know, that spanned a few states. But um, it'll take like a state, for instance, and it will take you, say, say Georgia. Um, here in Georgia, we have a mountainous region. Actually, we have two mountainous regions. We have mountains towards middle, I think it's kind of like middle uh, to the like Midwest of Georgia. We have a mountainous region. And then in northern Georgia, there is another mountainous region. And then we have, um, we have like more plain type area and then Georgia is also coastal so there's all kinds of different things landscapes in the state of Georgia you know I know a lot of states aren't like that but Georgia you can just about find any kind of landscape any kind of weather um, here and it takes you on an aerial tour of the state um, it shows you the different landmarks. It tells you different things about them. Um, it's, it is a pretty neat show. When you go into the Smithsonian Castle in Washington, D.C., there is a huge, huge TV on the wall. And that's what was playing when we were in there back in October. It was on Aerial America. Um, I noticed that as soon as we walked in. Um, so, you know, Gary watches things like that off the Smithsonian Channel. He likes a lot of history type um, shows. Um, also, um, he watches um, um, my mind just goes poof blank. Um, he would watch Mythbusters um, Moonshiners, um, The Curse of Oak Island, that is probably one of his favorites, he watches Gold Rush also, but, you know, The Curse of Oak Island is actually pretty interesting, have you guys, um, watched that, and if not, have you ever heard of The Legend of Oak Island? And if not, it would be a neat little thing to Google and just kind of read a little bit about. Um, but basically, they have found, like there's a legend that there's a big treasure on Oak Island in Nova Scotia. And the legend said that I think seven people have to die before it's found. Um... I think six people have died thus, thus far in the search of this treasure. Um, they did a huge thing. I think it was in Reader's Digest when Gary and I were young. Uh, me much more younger than Gary. Gary's five years older than me. but So Gary had read that. And the guys on the show, it's brothers that are there now looking for the treasure and um one of the brothers was really intrigued with that reader's digest and that's what made him want to pursue the treasure as an adult and they have found all kinds of really cool things there and it's starting to look like and you know I'm not the type that you know thinks about I mean, I'm skeptical when it comes to things. I, I don't believe just anything, and I always look for the rational um, explanation 
for something, but it is starting to look like the Knights Templar may have been at Oak Island. Um, like I said, I am very skeptical about things like that, but the things that they're finding are starting to seriously point in that direction, and, you know, they're sending these things off, and, you know, they're doing carbon dating and testings of all kinds of different things, so... It's not like it's just being made up, but it's a really interesting show if you want to try to um, catch some of that. And like I said, he watches Moonshiners, and it's about people who live in the Appalachian Mountains who are still illegally making moonshine. There is one guy on there who makes his legally. He's the maker of, oh my goodness, I know somebody's at home screaming this at their phone or camera or computer or TV, something right now. Um, his name is Tim, and he makes, it is a moonshine brand, and you can actually buy it at, like, the liquor stores. Oh, my goodness. Um, it keeps coming right to the tip of my tongue, and then it's just gone again. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Um... Yeah, I don't know where that's at, but it's it's there. It'll come out eventually. Anyway, so he is making his legally, but it's pretty neat to watch these things happen on there. So, I mean, I, I kind of watch that with him. And then there's Gold Rush. Um, we've been watching Gold Rush for several seasons also. Um... So, he watches that. Um, I'm still trying to think about the name of the moonshine. This is driving me crazy. Somebody comment down below. I'm sure somebody watches that show. Um, if not, it's really neat. You might want to. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I'm so sorry. I just feel like I'm choking. Oh, it was almost there again. This is going to drive me so crazy. Oh, my goodness. I can't hardly think of anything else, for not, you know, because of that. Uh, but anyhow, have any of you seen the silly little TV show called Orville? I think there's been one season so far. It's almost like a knockoff of like Star Trek or something like that, but it's totally different. The I think the maker did is it Family Guy maybe? I don't know. My mind's not working good right now. Um I have moments like this where things aren't they're just not clear in my head. But anyway, it's it's very comical kind of thing. Um he, it's back, I guess the season for that has just started again, and he is um, recording that. I really could care less about that show. I think it's rather silly, and I don't know. I don't too much care for it. And then he'll watch outdoors shows, and that is generally when I am coloring or something that I'm not watching. I just don't have the interest in hunting or whatever that he has. I've won a couple times, but I'm scared of heights. I don't want to get up in that deer stands. Um, I can't sit still and do nothing for hours. He reads a lot when he's hunting, and that's great for him, but I'm not a big reader, so that doesn't really work for me. Uh... I'm trying to think. I don't think there's any. There's other things that he watches. I can't really pick those off. But he, or, pick, or I can't recall them right now. He watches a lot, lot more TV than I do. So. Almost done with the greens. And then I'll just have to add color to the rest of these flowers. I don't think I'm going to do a background just on you know, a picture like this. Um. 
but So I suppose during some spare time tomorrow, I'm going to, I'm going to think between tonight and in the morning about what kind of video I want to make tomorrow. I want to at least make a video of some kind tomorrow. Um, if it's not a color and chat, maybe a discussion about the different types of alcohol markers. I saw that Anne has a marker video up, so I want to take a look at it because I don't want to do anything too similar in content like that. Um, and, you know, I know you guys heard me say that I was going to, you know, pull out all my markers and everything. So I don't think that you're going to accuse me of, of trying to copy Anne, but I just think, and I don't think Anne, you know, I haven't seen the video, so I don't know what there is on there. But I don't think we need to try to be, I don't think we should appear to be in competition with each other or anything like that. And I don't want anyone to think that in any way. Um, and, you know, I just need to watch her marker video and see what's on there. If it's in any way similar to what I had in mind, then I will hold off for a while on mine. Um, that way, everybody can maybe get the most benefit out of that video. Um, so I don't know yet. Um, I know she had said something about the prices of the m markers going up and she wanted to talk about that. I think I heard that in another video, but I don't know. That's the video I want to get off. Once I finish this color and chat, I'm going to get off and watch. So... My back starting to get to me a little bit sitting here. It's funny. I think I can do about 40 minutes is about where I'm comfortable sitting in this chair. Maybe I will have to try to find a more comfortable chair for the desk. Kidoki doki doki. Okie dokie, artichokey. My sweet little Bradley back there snowing. There's sometimes when I'm trying to fall asleep that I can hear him all the way over the fan in the room and I want to be like, shh. <laughs> he can saw some logs. So we had our, um, I guess you would call it our New Year's meal yesterday since Gary was off work. He had to work New Year's Day. And we just had like ham and all we really did was ham and peas and potatoes. And we didn't even do the greens, which is, you know, a pretty big tradition. But we didn't do those. But the ham was amazing. Had ham for breakfast ham a little while ago. So I should be pretty well um, hammed out soon. I see that I messed that up right there. Um, So I didn't have to cook anything today. So that was nice. And there's ice cream, but I don't like it. Um, you know, Gary has to have the no sugar added ice cream, and I don't think it tastes like ice cream. And then my mother-in-law had got her some ice cream, and she got black cherry, and I don't really... Bleh. You know, kind of bleh on that one, but, um, I like more chocolates like Rocky Roads and those types of things. 
for my ice cream. I am craving something sweet, though. So I might have to start trying to come up with something, at least kind of on the sweet side. I don't know what kind of fruits we may have. I'll have to check. I know enough groceries have been brought in the, to this house to feed us until the next millennia. And that's no joke. Um, we have a freezer. Sorry guys, popping this thing back open. We have a freezer almost packed full of um, meats, like a deep freezer. Both of our, um, we have a, a refrigerator or a freezer in the kitchen, and then we have a refrigerator and freezer in the little hallway that leads, um, it's kind of between my bedroom and the main part of the house where, you know, the garage was closed in. Um, we have one there. Both of those are pretty well full to the rim. And then I have a square chest freezer that is pretty full of meat. There's only three of us living here. I've given things out of these freezers and stuff to Michael because he's the only kid, you know, that lives local. Um, I've given a lot of it to him and his wife hoping that maybe they could use it before some things expire. I'm probably going to have to do that again very soon. Um, but, you know, uh, my mother-in-law is just a sucker. When she goes to the grocery store, she'll come home with all kinds of things. I've told her that I think the problem is that she's going to the store when she's hungry or something. I don't know. But... She has to come home with a car full every time that she goes to the store. You know, and then we're buying necessities and things that we need. And, you know, when you're buying what you do need and then you've got all this extra stuff coming in too, we're just overrun with it. Um, so, I definitely don't want anything to go to waste. So, I may need to call Michael and ask him to come over. And get some things that they could use. I'm not really sure I like that. I think it's more of a red than it is a pink. You know, I thought it was going to be like a dark, deep pink. But it almost looks like more of a red. But that's okay. Oh, excuse me again. having a bit of a hard time here. Well, I kind of I will try this one and see what I think. Oh, that's that same oh, no. I think it's the same one we used earlier, which means I should have got the one that I thought was not. I almost picked one that I thought was the one we used earlier. And then I was like, no, that one was too neon looking. And here we go again. It's okay. Deep, deep breath. Now I don't know what to do. I know I told you guys that was the fun part sometimes, but I don't want that to be the fun part right now.
Oh, these colors. <laughs> I don't know what to think about these colors. These are definitely not colors I would normally put together in any picture. And I just threw all these things down and just went with it. And I've got these swatched out. That that pen on the swatch does not look like that neon that it actually is showing up as. So that's kind of strange. We'll see how this does. I am pretty sure this is not going to go the greatest here. But. I guess it's not too bad. I don't know if I want to do it like that or not. See, I never know what's going to work best on this kind of paper as far as trying to, like, um, blend out or, yeah, blend two gel pens together. You have to just kind of play with it, I guess. And these colors could not be any more different from each other, so. So what are you guys working on? Are you coloring a Jade Summer book? Or something else? I love hearing about the different things that you guys are coloring. A lot of times I'll go and I will look up the books that you reference and take a look at them, you know, and see if there's something that I think I might like. Um, so you guys, you know, you accuse me of enabling you guys, but truthfully, you guys enable me too in your comments a lot. And that's okay. Sometimes it's fun to be enabled. I'm very proud of myself. I haven't spent much money at all. Um, I'm letting um, the majority of my gift card just sit there and I will, you know, decide what I want to get with that gift card as time goes on. But I don't want to use up my gift card because it's like then it's gone, you know. And then I'm going to, you know, then I'll have to put myself on a spending restriction because the money's just not there right now. So I'm trying to take care of that, you know, be a good steward of it. So quiet. I feel like this picture has went so sideways that it doesn't much matter what I do to it at this point. It's not going to make it much worse. <laughs> these colors are just clashing. I don't know if it, if it shows on camera how bad these colors are actually clashing, but this whole picture looks like it went sideways. But it's okay. I mean, it was fun because I got to just lay down some color and chat with you guys and enjoy myself. And that is what matters. It's about the process, not the destination. And that's what we all need to remember in our coloring journal, or journal journey. Um, we need to focus on the... We need to focus on the um, the whole process, not not the not the you know outcome.
January seems to be moving rather quickly. Does it seem to be going quickly for you guys? Um, December went super quick too. I think all of 2018 went quick. When you get older, I think that happens and it's scary. It's weird. It almost sounded like a train, but I don't live near tracks. I'm not sure what that was. I had all these huge plans of all the different videos and things I wanted to do while Gary went on this camping trip. Now I keep kind of drawing a blank and I'm just afraid when Wednesday evening gets here and he gets home, I'm not going to feel as if I really got anything accomplished. But we'll see. I need to move my printer from the spare bedroom that it's in. I need to move it in here with and find somewhere to put it. I'm probably gonna have to put it under this desk over to the side um, and if it'll fit back there, but I don't think it's gonna fit. But I need to figure that out because I want to have my printer in here with me. It was on a desk or by a desk in the living room and the desk I moved to the spare bedroom because it was kind of taking up a lot of room there in the living room. Um, I don't think it gets a good Wi-Fi signal back in that bedroom. It'll say that something's printing, and a lot of times it'll time out back there, and you have to do it again and again. And So I do think that it might have, maybe have something to do with... Um, it being too far away from the Wi-Fi. Of course, I don't know that it would be any closer in here, truly. I'm not sure. But I need to, to try to get that moved and see if that improves things at all. I have had some things that needed to be mailed out since before Christmas that are still not mailed out. I had an Amazon return. And I have a package that I need to get mailed out to a subscriber. I hope she's still a subscriber. Um, I mean, this, it's just one that needs to go out. Um, but it's not out yet, and I feel horrible about it. But I have not been able to get labels to prints. Um... I don't know what the problem is. So, I want to try to solve that problem tomorrow. That's kind of high up on my Donna do list. You know, you've heard a honey do list. I even keep a Donna do list. I don't like the way I put the pink in the one at the bottom. I feel like I'm running out of ideas here. I think I'll do these swirly, swirly ones purple just to kind of try to make them in some way match this image in the middle. Where, oh, where does this little pin go? There it is. Um, da dum dum. Ba -lum -bum, ba -lum -bum, ba -bum -bum -bum. Let's see. Okay. Hmm. 
And this has really just been a let's lay the color down kind of video between the first part and this part. But that's okay. Do not everyone speak at once. <clears throat> I cannot help but be irritated about the whole Amazon Prime thing. I mean, would you guys be irritated? Sorry, I have to open up a piece of hard candy. My throat is scratching so bad. The, um, my sinuses are kind of draining down the back of my throat. It makes my throat itch, and it makes me almost feel like I'm choking sometimes. I don't know what I'm going to do if this next email comes in from customer service and I don't know. And if they don't have it right, I guess I'm going to have to actually call Amazon. I don't know what I'm going to call them because I don't have anything nice to say right now. <laughs> <coughs> that was rude. But it's true. <laughs> I just don't really... I have anything nice to say to them right now. Um, I've noticed that a lot of the prices on Amazon are jumping way up. I guess that's what happens after the holidays, maybe. I'll have to see when they cycle back down again. So I've missed decent prices on some things that I'd like added to my wish list, keep an eye on them. Um, I'm looking at different pastel pencils is one thing I've been looking at. And I thought the prices may, when I first put them in my wish list, I thought, well, you know, the prices may go down and I'm just going to keep an eye on them. The prices have done nothing but go up since I put them in there. So, does anyone know if there's a way to know what the prices have done over maybe the last six months or something like that on any particular product on Amazon? I don't know if there's like a website or an app or something that can kind of keep track of that and give you an idea of what the average, even if it just, will just tell you the average price of something, you know, when it's not on sale, that would, excuse me, that would be helpful. I would definitely be interested in something like that. Oh, I should have probably done these little boogers yellow and put the pink in the middle. <sighs> you live in your loan. When I'm on camera, I try to make, you know, really quick color choices so I don't have time to think. So when I tell you guys that I'm not good at picking these colors, I mean it. If I just look, this is the kind of thing that happens. Um... I sit and contemplate for a very long time, generally, before I lay color on um, a coloring page. I've got way too many of these gel pens. Well, I've only got four, but that's a lot to have out at one time when 
I've got to remember exactly where to put them back because they sit, um, they sit like here. I have these swatches and it's pin spot goes like right here. So when those things start to jiggle around a little bit in there, it makes it hard for me to pick out where they go. But I mean, I'm not totally disappointed in this. I mean, it was, it's not too bad. It was a lot of fun. I know you guys are constantly, Donna, don't be so hard on yourself. I think I've always been that way. You know, I've always been my own worst critic. I've always had a very low self-esteem. Um, you guys have no idea what a big deal it, it is that I actually started a YouTube channel like this. That's, that's huge. Huge for me. I'm generally the one sitting in the back going, I could never do that. And I wasn't sure if I could. When I started the channel, I didn't think I would be any good at this. I figured if I got a handful of subscribers, I would be lucky. So, I mean, when you guys are, when you guys say, I like your channel, I like your videos, um, Gosh, it means, you guys have no idea how much it means. I think the reason I like to color my alcohol marker so much is because pens aren't much faster than pencil. I mean, I know they are, don't, I know they're faster than pencil, but they're not a fast, fast, medium either. Oh, you guys weren't completely in frame there, were you? I'm so sorry. So sorry. Boy, I want to saw some logs like Bradley. He's getting to be an old pup. So. He'll be 12 in May. He does a lot of laying around now. Um, he loves it when it's warm outside and he can go out and just bask in the sun. He used to not do that very much at all, if ever. And I think think it must be because he has arthritis building up in his joints and you know the sun feels really good against that I mean the sun feels really good on me when I go out and sit so as soon as the sun finally came back out I was like oh yeah and it was only for like 15 minutes that first day before it tucked its head back in and hid but I was basking in it. I loved it so much. It had been so long since we had the sun shining on us. I've got to check my battery and see where we sit. I've got to call Gary also, so I need to check the time. I may have to finish this off camera I'm almost done now though so I mean we've got a few flowers to do but nothing too too major of course I got the whole top of this so I don't know I told Gary I was going to do a color and chat and he just asked me to call him when I was done, that way he could head to bed, and we are just over an hour um, now that we've been filming, so he's probably just about ready to go to bed. I think, though, he said that they have electricity there, maybe, so hopefully they're not just sitting out in the dark by firelight. Um, that's how it is when we camp, you know, when we go to fish camp in April, 
that's how it is there because it's a um, primitive, primitive campground. Um, so by the time the sun starts going down, you know, we'll sit around the fire and talk for just a little while. We go to bed pretty early and then everybody's getting up, you know, as soon as the sun starts to come up. Because when you're in, like, we take tents or pop-up campers. And when you're in something like that, as soon as the sun starts to peek through the clouds, if you're the type of person that likes to sleep when it's dark, you're up. So, we generally all turn in really early. We're up at least by the time the sun starts to, you know, it's generally not even up completely by the time we are. And um, I try to lay there for a while because, you know, since we don't have electricity, we have to heat water to make our coffee. And I don't do well in the mornings without my coffee. You can ask anyone who is around me when I wake up, you know, my children, my husbands, my mother-in-law, the best thing you can do when I first wake up is leave me alone. Let me kind of wake up some um, on my own. Give me time to have my coffee, uh, relax for a while, um, and I'll kind of come around, but... For probably the first 30 minutes that I'm awake, you really don't want to try to carry on a conversation with me. I'm not very lucid, and I'm, I'm not very nice either, truly. And I don't mean to be that way, but I don't know. I, I don't know if it's just that I'm not a morning person, if it's my addiction um, to, you know, the caffeine and stuff. And when I wake up in the mornings, I absolutely have to have it. Um, I don't know. But, yeah. I'll generally lay in the camper or the tent as long as I can and try to sleep. And I'll ask Gary if he'll please go start the water for some coffee. And he'll be like, yeah. And then he'll come and open the camper door or the tent and be like, your coffee's ready. And I'm like, all right, now I can get up. Because <laughs> I don't want to get up and walk around for that, you know, 20 minutes or whatever that it takes that water to heat up to make our coffee. No, 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 no. I don't even like staying in a hotel because, especially if they don't have like, coffee makers in the room. I know most do now, but I don't really like hotel coffee. And you know, they have the, like the little, most hotels that, that we stay at will have like the continental breakfast and the coffee downstairs is at least a little better than the coffee that you can make in your room. And it, it to me, it's horrible having to walk downstairs even to get coffee like that. Um, you know, getting in elevators all the time in the elevators and all meh. No. When we went to Washington, D.C. in October, we took, one second, we have a, our regular coffee makers are Keurig, love it, and we found a single cup, I think it was a Farberware, and it works like a Keurig, and it was on sale on clearance for like eight bucks, so we got it. And when we went to D.C., we took that with us. And that was amazing, being able to have my coffee from home in the mornings. Because I just, I have really never had any hotel coffee that I cared for at all. Okay, so it's Sunday night for me. Um, I'm not going to edit and render this tonight. 
I will do it first thing in the morning when I get up. So this will be my video for tomorrow. Um, I do like releasing videos. I like to release a video every day. That's what I would really like to do. That's my goal. Um, I don't know that I'm going to be able to keep up that. But it's what I like to do. If I had my druthers, that's what I would do. You know, and it, it, sometimes it's hard, too, when I do the coloring chats because um, my life's just not truly that exciting. At least I don't think it is. And so when I do my videos, a lot of them, you know, close together, I start to run out of things to talk about. And I think those are the times that I start looking for products that I can do a demo and review on because I really want to give you guys a video or maybe flip throughs or something. Because I want to give you guys videos, but I just don't know what to talk about. <sighs> and at least when you're doing a demo or a review of a product, you know what you're going to talk about. <laughs> you know, that's all taken care of for you. I don't know what I thought looked funny about that. It just seemed like something looked kind of funny there for a minute. I don't know. My eyes are playing tricks on me, I suppose. Okay. My hands is really hurting from using the pins. My back is hurting. I am sure my battery is getting low. I filmed for an almost an hour and 15 minutes. Um, by the time I close this out, it'll be an hour and 15 minutes. I need to give my hand a rest. Um, I need to call my husband and tell him good night and all of that because we do do that. We, um, that is a big part of our relationship when he's at work or whatever, or we're away from home, is having that good night conversation. That to be the last thing, you know, for the one of us that is going to bed, um, whoever goes to bed first, that be like the last conversation, the last thing that they heard was the good night and the I love you. Um, that means a lot to us. So I need to do that. And I don't want to keep, you know, him or his friends up. Um, when they're going to be getting up, you know, before dawn, because when you hunt, you can't legally shoot um, a deer until after sunrise, but you always get yourself set up where you're going to hunt and in your tree stand and all of those kinds of things before the sun comes up. So you just um, are ready to go. You know, you don't want to spook a deer or anything like that. It's kind of hard to explain, I guess. But all we really have to do is these little flowers here the, and these flowers right here. And that's it. And the picture is done. So I don't know that I will do this on another video. Um, that may just be too little. I must, may just go ahead and fi finish this up. And, and then I'll just add it to my monthly completes. But thank you for watching. And... This turned out beautiful. It has recorded for one hour, 14 minutes, and 19 seconds as of right now and never once turned off. So that worked out great. Maybe restarting the phone is all I needed to do. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We would love to have you join us. Um, I will see you guys in another video very soon. If... Um, if you're interested in Magical Forest or the a and Art gel pens that I've been using, I linked them in part one, and I will also link them in the description here on part two of the video. And I will see you guys again very soon. Until then, peace, love, and happy coloring. Bye, guys.